Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. Hey, ITA for not inviting my siblings to my wedding after they treated me like crap. I'm a 30F, and I come from a pretty big family, there's five of us siblings in total. I've got two older sisters, 34F and 32F, and two younger brothers, 26M and 22M. Growing up, I was never super close with my sisters. They were like two peas in a pod, the perfect, sisterly love duo. Meanwhile, I was kind of on the outside looking in. My younger brothers were also really tight, so that left me feeling a little isolated in the middle. I've always been the one trying to bridge the gap, especially with my sisters. I thought that maybe helping my oldest sister with her wedding could finally bring us closer. Boy was I wrong. So, here's how it all started. My oldest sister got engaged, and she asked me to be her maid of honor. I was really excited at first, because I thought this would be the chance to bond, and maybe form the close relationship I always wanted with her. My other sister was also named MOH, because, well they're best friends, and she couldn't pick just one. I later found out that I was basically the second option, and she only made me MOH because she needed someone to do all the work while my other sister got all the praise. I should have seen the red flags, but I didn't. I was unemployed at the time, and my sister is a doctor, so I figured I'd step up and help plan her wedding. I took on a lot of the responsibilities, honestly, I was practically her un wedding planner. I did all the heavy lifting, from organizing venues to handling the guest list. My sister didn't have a wedding planner and since she was so busy with work I thought I'd just help her out and make her life easier. But here's where things started going south. As the wedding planning went on, she became increasingly demanding and, frankly, unbearable. She treated me like her personal assistant rather than her sister. Every little thing I did wasn't good enough for her, and she was constantly nitpicking and criticizing everything. She used the excuse of being the bride to justify her behavior, acting like that gave her a free pass to be a total nightmare. I'm not exaggerating when I say that she turned into a full-blown bridezilla. But, trying to avoid drama and maintain the peace, I kept telling myself she was just stressed and that I needed to suck it up. Then it hit me hard when I found out that my fiancé, who I've been with for 12 years, wasn't invited to the wedding. That's right she refused to invite him. Her reasoning? She didn't want people asking about when we were going to get married, because apparently, all our friends and family have been waiting for us to tie the knot. And in her mind, that would take the spotlight off her big day. I was floored. My siblings' partners who had only been around for a couple of years, were invited with no problem, but my fiancé, my partner of over a decade, wasn't. Naturally I confronted her about it, and I told her I wasn't doing any more wedding planning unless he was invited. After some back and forth, she caved and begrudgingly invited him. Her apology was anything but sincere, but at that point I just wanted to keep things moving, so I accepted it. Fast forward to the day of the wedding. The ceremony itself was beautiful, and for a brief moment I was genuinely happy for her. I thought maybe we could move past all the drama and just enjoy the day. But, as soon as we got to the reception, I noticed something was off. My fiancé and I weren't seated at the family table with my parents and siblings. Nope. We were all the way in the back, right by the kitchen at the kids' table. Yeah, you read that right the kids' table. We were seated with seven to fourteen-year-olds. I thought, this has to be a mistake. So I calmly approached my sister and asked her about it. She looked me dead in the eye and said, No, that's where you belong. Just like that. No explanation, no remorse. It was pure malice. She just didn't want me and my fiancé anywhere near the family table. To make things worse, the groom overheard the conversation and apologized to my parents later, saying he had no idea she did that. But he didn't say a word to me. Why? Because she gave him this look like, oh don't you dare disagree with me? It was infuriating, but I didn't want to cause a scene. I decided to just try to enjoy the night, even though I was fuming on the inside. Now, here's the kicker. My parents noticed where I was sitting and were pissed. They knew I didn't belong at the kids' table, and they could see I was hurt. But my siblings? They didn't care. They knew I wasn't seated with them, but they didn't even bother asking why. When they found out I wasn't going to give a maid of honor speech, they came over to my table to lecture me. They told me I needed to understand the stress my sister was under, and that I was being selfish for not making her day perfect. Somehow, I was the bad guy for not giving a speech, even though I had been shoved to the back with the kids. They accused me of making the night all about me when, in reality, I was just trying to quietly get through it. At that point, I'd had enough. My fiancé and I decided to leave early. We ended up grabbing McDonald's on the way home and I posted a story about it on Instagram. Just a fun little post-wedding meal post. I made sure to post it after the reception had ended, so it wouldn't look like we bailed mid-event. But my siblings saw the post and somehow took it as an attack on my sister. They twisted it into me being petty and trying to ruin her night. Unbelievable. A few days later, I tried to get some closure and asked my sister why she did what she did. Her reasoning? Brace yourself for this. She said, 1. I didn't plan her wedding exactly the way she wanted, so I deserve to be punished. 2. She didn't like that I looked pretty in my bridesmaid gown. 
and three, she was still mad that I insisted on bringing my fiancé. I couldn't believe the audacity. She honestly thought that was a valid excuse for treating me like garbage on her wedding day. Now, let's fast forward to my own wedding plans. After all of this, my fiancé and I decided to have a destination wedding. We've been together for 12 years and we're paying for everything ourselves. Given what happened at my sister's wedding, I decided I don't want my siblings there. I'm only inviting my parents and a few close friends. My parents are completely on board with this decision, but of course, my siblings are livid. They're calling me childish and accusing me of overreacting. But here's the thing, if they didn't care about me at my sister's wedding, why should I care about them at mine? Some of my extended family has also chimed in, saying I'm in the wrong for excluding my siblings. But honestly, after being treated like I wasn't part of the family, why would I go out of my way to include them in such a special day for me? Here's where things get interesting. After all the drama, my fiancé and I decided to elope. Yep, just the two of us and a small group of close friends. We're heading to the Philippines for a beautiful, intimate beach wedding. We'll have a small church ceremony, followed by a week of island hopping with the people we truly love, and who have supported us from the beginning. We're using the money we would have spent on a big wedding in Italy, to make this trip truly special. It's going to be amazing. When we get back, we'll have a small luncheon with both of our families, about 80 guests in total. My parents and my fiancé's parents are paying for the luncheon, and they're handling the guest list. If my siblings get invited, so be it. I'm indifferent at this point. I'll be too busy celebrating with my new husband to care about their drama. I've already planned the seating chart, and let's just say my siblings will be seated at the far end of the table, near the restrooms, exactly where they deserve to be. It's a little bit of petty payback, but after everything they've put me through I think it's warranted. Now, let's talk about my sister, the bride. She's expecting to be my maid of honor. Yeah, that's not happening. Not only will she not be in the wedding party, but she's also going to be seated at the kitty table at the reception, just like I was at her wedding. Oh, and she recently found out she's pregnant, so I'm planning the wedding around her due date. That way, she'll either miss the event or have to sit out with her newborn. It's a small but satisfying form of revenge, and I'm not even sorry about it. At the end of the day, this wedding is about us, not them. I'm done bending over backward for people who don't appreciate me or my efforts. Our wedding is going to be a beautiful, stress-free celebration of our love, surrounded by the people who truly matter. As for my siblings? They can deal with their own issues. I'm not angry anymore, I'm just done. I was worried I was being petty at first, but your comments helped me see things clearly. I'm beyond excited to start this new chapter of my life, free of the family drama that's weighed me down for so long. And for those of you who have been wondering, yes, I'm pregnant. Twins, actually. That's part of the reason it took me so long to update, but I'm thrilled to share the news. Life is finally looking up, and I couldn't be happier. Thanks for watching till the end, wishing you an awesome day, feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share, I'd love to hear from you.